I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on construction of angles. We'll see how to construct angles of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees and 120 degrees with the help of a compass, not protector, right? We'll use the protector only to measure. We'll use compass to construct the angles. Perfect. Let us see how we can construct all these angles very accurately with the help of a compass, not protector, right? Well, we might use the protector for drawing the lines. For example, let me just now sketch a line here, a long line horizontal. Well, a horizontal line gives you 180 degrees, correct? So if I have a point here, let's call this point as point O, then the angle which it makes on the top half is 180 degrees. Now if I have to construct 90 degrees, what should I do? For 90 degrees, I have to make half of it. That means I have to bisect 180 degrees, right? Now let us see how to bisect an angle and then we'll continue from there. So we'll just open up an arc from the compass and we can kind of draw a semicircle as you can see here, right? So with this arc, we are drawing a semicircle. It cuts a line at two points. Now at those two points, we'll place our compass and then increase the size slightly more so that we could make two different arcs from each point intersecting our original line, right? So, so the arc and this point will now construct. So we, so with this arc, we get a point right on top of O and joining this line, we get right angles to the horizontal line drawn earlier. Perfect. So if I join this, what should I get? I get half of 180 degrees. So this angle which I have drawn just now is exactly 90 degrees. Do you see that? And if you want, we can measure with our protector, right? So that's the protector. If you place it, it matches perfectly 90 degrees. So what we did in step one is we bisect 180 degrees to get 90 degrees. Now from 90 degrees, I can again bisect and get 45 degrees. How do I do that? Well, I've already done half of the work and that is, you can see, from this point I have an arc and this arc cuts the horizontal line and our vertical line at two different points. Now, just as we bisected the earlier angle, we can bisect this angle also. We'll place our compass on the line, on the intersection of this arc and our horizontal line, correct? And then make an arc almost in the center of quadrant one, right? Like this. With the same arc, we'll place it on the intersection with the vertical line and then make another arc. So there it bisects. So the point where it bisects will now be connected with the point O. Now if I do that, and I'm using only my protector to check the results and to draw lines, right? That's interesting. Not to make angles, right? So when we do this, we get 45 degrees. So this angle which I am now getting is 45 degrees. Well, let's check, right? So if I place it here with zero coinciding with O, you will notice that the line which I've drawn is almost 45 degrees. It's slightly this minor difference, right? But it has to be exact, right? Okay, so that's how we get 45 degrees. Now, let's talk about 30 and 60 degrees. Okay, so for 30 and 60 degrees, let me start the construction um, with an arc 
like a new construction okay so this time what i will do again i will draw an arc just as we started with for the 90 degrees right so let me form an arc just as we did earlier so we got this one but without changing the length of the arc i am going to cut this into three parts see one part right so second part and third part so you will notice that exactly 180 has been divided into three equal parts do you see that and what do you get so if i divide 180 degrees into three equal parts i should get 60 degrees each correct so if i join them then i have 60 degrees let me join and check So if I'm joining with O, the first point, which is same distance away, three divisions of the arc which we've just drawn, which we think are 60 degrees, we should draw the line and then check, right? So this, so what we notice here is this particular angle should be actually 60 degrees. So this angle here is 60 degrees. The angle, let me say like this. Correct? 60, that is also 60. So if I join this point, then what do I get? I get 120 degrees, right? So let me use another ink to join the third, second point, which is 2 times 60. So this big angle from here to there, will be 120 degrees two 60s right and the third 60 will give us 180 degrees does it make sense to you perfect right that is how we get 60 degrees now can you tell me how can i make 30 degrees well you got it by setting 60 degrees we get 30 degrees just as we got 45 so what we learned here is bisect 180 degrees to get 90 degrees and then we'll bisect 90 degrees to get 45 degrees and trisect to get 60 now we can write bisect 60 degrees to get 30 degrees right so let's see how to bisect 60 degrees and get 30 degrees okay so we'll start with the 60 degrees angle R, which is right there. We have two points here, right? So we'll place our compass at one of these points and then mark, right? So somewhere in between, let's say this, right? And then we'll place it on the other point and then again cut it across. We get a point in between the two, right? So joining that, what should we get? with O, we should get 30 degrees, half of 60. Do you see that part, right? So now we can join these two points. And when you join them, we get 30 degrees. So this angle here is 30 degrees. So we can keep on bisecting and get, if you bisect 30, you get 15. And the way how to bisect is, Cut an arc and then place your compass at both the points with the same arc and get the point, which is the bisector of the angle. So I hope that makes sense. Perfect. So that is how you get most of the angles using just a compass and a ruler. Now here is a question for you. Your question here is to construct what is missing 75 degrees is missing right so you need to make an angle of 75 degrees that is your work right how will you do it well 45 plus 30 is 75 okay so you've seen how we got 30 so you got to make 30 over 45 to get 75 the combination of two 
that should give you the 75 degrees angle. So we learned in this particular video how to bisect an angle and how to construct different angles by the combination of bisecting each. I hope that makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed watching and learning from this particular video. You can subscribe and like my videos and share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.